Hey guys, it's your boy Jack, and I'm back with another video. And today, if y'all can ask me from the title of the video, I am dropping out of college. No, I'm just kidding, though. I'm actually taking a gap year next semester, but I feel like it would just be funnier if I said dropping out, you know? But yeah, I'm sorry, I'm disappointed, mom and dad. But yeah, so basically the reason why I'm deciding to take a gap semester next semester is because I just feel like with everything being online, college is just not the move right now. It's, it's 10 times harder. I know everyone's but oh, y'all can cheat online. It's just too much work. I don't feel, it's just unnecessary. They give us way more work online and stuff. I just don't have the time. I'm not motivated. And like school has never been my thing. I'm not motivated. So my plan is to take a gap semester. Um spring 2021 and go back fall 2021 go back stronger and hopefully with everything going back into in class and yeah my plan is i didn't just drop out i'm finishing this semester the 2020 fall semester i'm finishing this semester and taking a gap and i'm not just gonna take a gap and do nothing i'm gonna work full time at h&m h&m please sponsor me so i like i would love to be sponsored by y'all i wear everything by y'all like i work for y'all like just just sponsor me at this point and also i'm gonna put a lot more effort into my youtube channel i'm gonna post a video every week so stay tuned i'm telling you because this is my dream i want to be a content creator i want to make videos for y'all just do fun stuff for y'all but with the money that i make from working at h&m i'm gonna use that money into my videos so just expect to put more quality i don't know if y'all even know this i've been putting a lot more effort into my editing and just everything like i just feel like i want to take youtube a lot more seriously and see where this can take me you know so hopefully we can get to that 1000k subscriber mark soon so if y'all aren't subscribed and you enjoy my content go down and hit that subscribe button i really appreciate that and yeah i just have a lot of big things coming up in 2021 so right now it is like the early December December 2020 and I don't know when this video is gonna come out but yeah right now I just have a lot of goals and a lot of plans a lot of aspirations that I'm gonna follow through on like especially with money like I don't, I'm tired of being broke I want to get rich with my career I want to you know get a successful YouTube career like to me the way I see it now is that my channel is not just a channel it's not a youtube channel it's like a business you know you gotta promote it you gotta do all the stuff put money into it and hopefully you get money out like i'm just very motivated right now and like so back to what i was saying though about the whole dropping out i like i've never been a school person i've always just it's not it's not been for me in high school like it was never for me i never liked doing my work i never you know, the only thing I enjoyed was going out, hanging with friends and stuff like that. That's the only thing I really enjoyed. The only classes I did enjoy were like the classes where I got to edit, got to film. Those are the only classes I really liked. And school has never been a like a thing for me. I hated school. And like the reason why I felt like I even wanted to go to college wasn't even for my own choice. Like if honestly, if I could have went straight to working or like focusing all my efforts into my youtube channel i feel like i would have done that i i think i even told my sister about this that like i didn't want to go to college i wanted to like drop out because like it's not for me and like it's okay because call like college isn't for everyone school isn't for everyone i'm not saying like oh drop out but i'm just saying like follow your dreams if you have dreams and aspirations go for it you know live the american dream i feel like people misinterpret the american dream like oh you're supposed to go to college get an office job and make money no i feel like the american dream is you know being able to try and at least achieve the dream that you are like reaching and soaring for and that's what i'm doing you know like i'm a first generation american you know and i'm asian so like it doesn't help but like i feel like i had a lot of pressure on me to like compete because like growing up you know my I'm the youngest. So growing up, I had an older sister that graduated from UGA. I have two cousins graduate from Georgia Tech, and I have another cousin at UGA right now. So it's just like always being compared. Like it's not even my parents comparing, it's just me being, just me thinking that I'm comparing to myself like, oh, there are all these good schools and I'm here at Kennesaw State University. There's nothing wrong with Kennesaw State University. It's just a mindset thing. And I've, I've always compared, like I've always felt like an outcast in my family too. Like I'm always the biggest, like in the family pictures. I've always felt like that. And like, it's just that like, I feel like I'm not following my own path. I'm following their path. I'm following the path that my parents want. I want to create my own story. And it was a very hard decision for me. It, I, 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 I slept on it. I asked everyone I knew. I, I, I work at H&M with people who are older, who have college degrees and stuff. And I asked them, do you really think you need a college degree to be successful? And a lot of them said no. They said that like, oh, I have a college degree, but I'm doing this and that. 
and someone was like, oh, I have a college degree, but I'm making more than my sister who graduated from U uh, UGN, my brother who made. And I also had someone say that they're making more money than their sister who graduated from UGA and their brother who graduated from tech. That just shows you, you don't need a degree to be successful, and especially with what I want to do. So basically what I want to do is just go into the entertainment industry and like, you know, just make content for people. I've always wanted to entertain people. Like that's what I do YouTube. I take my YouTube channel very seriously. I put in effort, I put in money, and like, I hope it shows, but like, and like the whole this whole time I'm being genuine. I'm being who I am. I'm never gonna change for anyone. So like, even if I do blow up, like, no, when I blow up, I'm not gonna change who I am. I'm always gonna stay true to who I am. And like, it just it just came to the day where like, I sat with my sister because you know me and my parents, like, we're close but not really. It's just like because there's a language barrier. They speak more Chinese and I speak more English. And like, so I speak Ching <laughs> Chinglish, you know, mixture of Chinese and English. And it's just very hard to communicate. But I did tell. I sat down and talked to my sister. And it took a while. At first, my sister was very hesitant because you know. She's very old headed, she's old, but she was just basically saying like, oh, it's always good to have a backup. Those people out there who have college degrees, who don't even use it. So, and I feel like I'm at that young age, like why, why not take a risk? You know, people, I've been called a dreamer and there's nothing wrong with being called a dreamer, but it's time to make my dreams a reality. Like, I don't want to sit here and be like, oh, I'm, I, I dream to be famous. I dream to be YouTube famous. I dream to be that. No, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the steps or whatever stuff I need to do to get to where I want to be. Like, that's that's where I want to be. So me dropping out of school, it has nothing to do with me being dumb or whatever. It's just a choice. And I'm not dropping out. I'm taking a gap. And you know how people say, oh, you when you take that gap, you ain't going to want to go back. That might be the case. But right now, my plan is to take a gap, spring 2021, grind, make money, and work my YouTube videos, and then come back the summer or fall stronger. Because like I said, right now, I don't feel like I'm here. That's why I'm not motivated to do school. It's because like, I'm not here because I want to be here. I'm here because my family wants to be here. Also, mentally, school was mentally draining, and like I wasn't in a good place. I haven't been in a good place in a while. I've always, like I've dealt with mental health issues for the longest time but like 2020 i know it's been a bad year but i'm happy everything happened i'm happy that everything that happened in my life happened to me happened because like not only like i, I believe everything happens for a reason but also it's just that like for me i'm a visual learner or whatever so i need that stuff to happen before i can learn so everything that has happened to me i've learned from my mistakes we are all human at the end of the day we are not perfect i'm not saying i'm a perfect human by making this decision and taking a gap you know what i'm saying like no of course if i was a perfect human i would like stick through it everyone was saying like oh just stick through it you'll be fine that's just college no i'm like i'm not gonna sacrifice my happiness like I could honestly say this is the first time in a long, very long time I'm very happy with myself. My confidence is up and everything is just, I feel good about myself. I feel happy. I don't, I'm not sad. I'm not relying on anyone else for my happiness no more. I just feel content and happy. And I want, like, I have big dreams and I want to achieve them. That's where my mind's at right now. That's why I like, I want to do what I want to do. And back to the school thing, school is always going to be there for you. And like, I'm sitting here like hoping that I can be an inspiration for someone because I know there's people that are in similar situations and stuff like that, where, you know, you're a first generation American and you don't want to go to school, but you're there because you're family. You have to realize at the end of the day, my parents came to America from Malaysia and Taiwan for me and my sister to have a better life, you know? And for them to be able to do what they do, I've learned how to be a hard worker. That's why I do what I do. And like, I have big, big dreams. Cause like, I feel like I can do anything I put my mind to. And I feel like, you know, it just takes one step and all you gotta do is just communicate. Communication is very key. And like, you need to talk to them and don't, don't just take a gap if you don't have a plan. I have a plan. My plan is to grind at work and make a lot of videos, you know? and. Also, stay tuned for 2021 because also the first half of the year, the first six months, I'm going to be deleting Instagram and Snapchat. I'm going to be deleting social media and only focusing on YouTube, TikTok, myself, and work. I want to do that because I feel like I want to get me mentally happy 
like completely. I want to be financially secured and then I want to be, I want to tone down, you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned because I'm going to get some workout videos coming soon for y'all, so stay tuned. It's just a lot of things. I'm very, I'm very, like my mind right now is I'm very happy at where I'm at and I only see it going up now. I just want to achieve my dreams and like bring y'all along with the journey and I hope I can inspire some of y'all. I hope that's like at the end of the day, we all die. We're all human and we all die. We all make mistakes. Everything happens for a reason and we all die. So hopefully at the end of the day when I die, I can say I've impacted someone and you know, that's what I want to do. I want to impact people and hopefully at the end of the day, whenever I pass, I've impacted a great amount of people. But with all that being said, I just thought y'all should know because you know, there was times where I wanted to do school videos and stuff like that, but I just never did it because like school was not for me and I wasn't having fun doing school. So I'm not gonna sit there and act like I'm having fun. Yeah, like I had those college decision videos, the move in day videos and stuff like that. But really like what does that have to do with school? It's just me just choosing what school I was going to and like, you know, my apartment I'm staying at. It had nothing to do about my daily life or whatever and all that, you know? Because like, I just feel like school is very, it's a scam. But I just thought y'all should know because I hope with everything said in this video, I hope this has helped someone, helped someone that like is going to the same thing as me. And with all that school stuff being said, that dropping out, taking a gap stuff being said, all I got to say is stay tuned for 2021 though. My YouTube channel, the video quality is going up. The editing and stuff is going to get better. Hey, stay, I know y'all been getting annoyed with my little intro, so stay tuned. New intro coming soon. And just 2021 is going to be my year and i'm going to get to that 1k mark and hopefully i can get to that 5k mark if y'all do enjoy my content and if you enjoyed this video i would appreciate if you go down and hit that subscribe button because like i'm out here grinding and i would appreciate it and i love every single one of my subscribers and stay tuned because like like i said this youtube channel is like a business i'm marketing branding and all that stuff and i want to make merch soon i want to get like a little bigger before i make merch but i want to make like what's wong shirts or like something wong shirts or wong number shirts like i want to make merch i'm so excited because like my last name is wong and like i have so many puns i can make and so yeah stay tuned for that and i just have i'm just so excited i'm I'm going to make my dreams a reality. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna get a million subscribers one day. I'm going to be successful one day and be ready for that. And one day when that happens, I'm gonna rewatch this video and I'm gonna be happy with the decision I made. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope some people got inspired by this. And with that being said, I love every single one of y'all. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, share, and I'm out.